native tree grower. Um, what we're going to try today is uh, to transfer uh, some oak seedlings that have been growing hydroponically in water um, to soil. And many of you hopefully have had a chance already to uh, grow some acorns and seedlings in soil from the start, as well as growing some hydroponically. However, um, the seedling that's growing hydroponically can't grow indefinitely like this. Um, you can see in, inside the acorn, uh, there's a fleshy, nutty part in there, uh, the endosperm, and that's where the little seedling gets a lot of its energy to start growing. But after a while, it starts to wither as it uses up that energy. And even though it relies on sunlight and photosynthesis to get a lot of its energy, the problem is um, in the water, there are some minerals that are lacking that you will find in the soil. So really to keep the hydroponic seedling growing for longer, it really does need to be transferred uh, to uh, soil. So that's our goal today is we want to go from this to here's one that we uh, planted in soil a few weeks ago and you can see it's doing very well. So uh, we're going to show you that technique. It's very simple. You will need um, a carton, like again, here's an old milk carton where the top's been cut off and a few little drainage holes at the bottom. So that's where we're going to move the seedling into um, ultimately. Has this ever been done before? Excellent question. Um, so tree growers uh, up till now have not historically grown trees hydroponically. It's quite a new technique. And um, this is some real experimental science going on here. Cool. We, yeah, we don't know how it's gonna turn out for sure. We've had, some people have had some success uh, with this technique and that's why we're trying it this way today. But um, it is a big experiment and we're hoping that uh, over the long haul, the little transplanted seedlings will have some success. So uh, thank you very much. That's a good point that uh, this is all very experimental here. Real science. That's the way. All right, and so the other uh, ingredient you will need here is you'll need uh, some potting soil. This is right out of the bag. It hasn't been moistened yet. Um, so you can see here that uh, in the hydroponic environment, we've got a healthy root system there and the roots have been growing nicely with lateral roots coming out and little root hairs. Um, but we want to be gentle with those as we do the transfer. Uh, and we want to try to spread them out in the soil um, as nicely as we can so it gives the, the plant a good chance to, to take off in the soil. So um, if my assistant could help there lift that out and uh, she's going to just hold it above the container there and what we're going to do is gently start adding the soil in and around the root system. And try to keep it centered because you want the tree to grow out of the center of the carton. Right. And we're just going to keep adding soil into the carton so that it's going to start surrounding the root system. And we're going to do that, uh, we're going to stop when we get to about the halfway part of the carton here. All right, so we've got the uh, carton about half full of, of soil. So we want to give the carton just a little bit of tap to help the soil settle a little bit. And it sinks down just a little bit. And we're going to add a little bit of water. This was the water that the plant was originally in. So we want to put a little bit of water in to moisten the soil. And uh, a little bit may come out the bottom there. You probably want to moisten it enough just so a little bit of water comes out one of your drainage holes. This just settles the soil. Yeah. Okay, that looks pretty good. And we'll do a little slight tamping down again. All right. And now we're just going to keep filling it back up again till we get to the level of just below where the acorn is near the top. And we'll do the same thing again. Okay. 
Greg, some of the kids may have um, no acorn on their hydroponic. It may, may have fallen off. It may just be the endosperm. Mm -hmm. but that shouldn't be a concern. You just yeah. have to treat the endosperm part just like you just do the yeah. shell. Okay, so we've filled it up to the top of the level here, and we're going to add a little bit more water here. And again, you'll see that the soil will sink as that happens. And we're going to just tap it down again to help the soil settle a little bit more. And then we'll do one last time here where we'll fill the soil up to the top level of the box. tap all right and I might just put one or two more scoops of soil around because again this the soil will settle over the next few days you'll see so uh, even though right now the soil level may be just a little bit above the acorn um, it'll start to settle a bit on its own over the next few days and you can tap it down a little bit there yeah. all right okay so uh, We've transferred it to the soil and uh, you'll want to put that back near the windowsill um, and just um, let it continue growing. Make sure you again water it every few days uh, just to keep the soil moist. All right, so uh, good luck with that. And as we say, hopefully uh, over the weeks, you'll get uh, a nice healthy seedling continuing to grow in the soil. So good luck with that. All right. Thank you.